morning, adventurers. And welcome to Lake Bled. So this morning we left Ljubljana and uh, took less than an hour drive over to this amazing lake. It's a pretty small country, so from Ljubljana, you can do a day trip to pretty much anywhere you want to. We've already driven most of the country yeah. in uh, about like three hours or so. <laughs> the drive here was so incredible. You oh, could see beautiful. the Alps off in the background, the snow-capped peaks, all these little villages and towns and churches, and it yeah, was really so cool. Yeah, so if you missed our video from yesterday, we went to Piran on the coast. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like an Italian little seaside village. But then we went the opposite way today. We went up north instead of south, mm -hmm. and it went into mountains and beautiful forests, and it was just completely different, a completely different vibe. And Lake Bled, yeah. which is just spectacular in person. So we're gonna tell you guys a little bit more information about this incredible spot. But yeah, let's go explore this place. Let's go. <clears throat> We're just kind of walking around and exploring the lake. It is quite beautiful from pretty much any angle. It's really beautiful. You drive up and it's kind of hard to see the perspective through the trees and then you get down close to it and it's from every angle, yeah. just amazing. There's this uh, boardwalk thing that goes all the way around this part of the lake anyway, but you can see the view from here is pretty incredible. The reflection on the water over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think we could have asked for a better day with the weather. It's like yeah. you've got the nice clouds out there, but it's a cloudless sky. Oh my gosh. Lake Bled is in the northwestern region of Slovenia in the town called Bled. It's actually not that deep of a lake. It's about 100 feet deep and you can actually see the shoreline. The water is crystal clear and That's you can see it goes like you could split. just walk out for quite a ways if you wanted to. In the center is Bled Island and it actually has a church on it from the 17th century. It is very uh, photogenic, probably one of the most postcard worthy places that we've ever, ever been to. And yeah, one of the I'd most spectacular so. views, I'd say. It's up there with like Elts Castle, just how yeah. amazing and spectacular and just surreal it is to see it in real life. made it into the castle. There's an insane view spot right over there overlooking the lake. Uh, there's a restaurant in here somewhere where we're going to go and try a delicious dessert. But can we find it? That's the question. We are all fading very fast. We have not had our coffee today, so we all well, almost all of us. I'm trying to save money, guys. <laughs> got some. <laughs> so we just got a couple cappuccinos. And what did you get? Uh, tried black to get an Americano. Coffee, but I asked for black coffee, but I think I got a double espresso. It'll so do the trick, though. <laughs> it's going to do exactly what I want it to do, and that's all that matters. But we've ordered, we've come here to try the bled cream cake. And we're going to tell you a little bit more about that, but we've ordered it, and it should be arriving any moment. We go to a lot of castles, but never have we been told to eat inside the castle that things are actually better in there. Usually you go into the town to the small, like, homey place, but they said you got to get it when you come to the castle. This beauty in front of me is the bled cream cake, and it's actually considered like the symbol of bled's cuisine. It is described as a golden crispy crust made from butter dough, a delicious vanilla cream of exactly the right consistency, the right amount of flour, if there's too much, the cakes are no good. And if too little, they collapse after cutting. Topped with whipped cream. And last but not least, a dusting of icing sugar. You can buy these other places, but they say that the ones from Bled are the best. And I got that all just from some website that was all about Bled cream cakes. <laughs> Maybe I should knife it, see if I can kind of crack through it without breaking it. Yes. Oh, baby. So crunchy sounding. Oh, man. Yeah. Check oh, that out. Ah, that's gonna be good. This is a lot to get in one bite. You always go for the big bites. Yeah, man. That's the proper food porn right there. Check that out, it's jiggling. Oh, that's gonna be good. They were saying I picked, I got too big of a bite. I think they're wrong. It's the size of your head, dude. I tried to take a bite, though. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that is good. Jeez. 
Oh, baby. That hits the spot right there. That is a good dessert. The custard in the middle is a little bit cold and it is so nice with the crunch of these, this flakiness on there. And then once you hit the sugar, it just gives you this blast of sweetness. The custard really isn't that sweet. It is absolutely delightful. It's fluffy and airy and tasty and sweet but not too sweet. That is a damn good dessert. Oh, can you hear it? That crunch yeah. is so satisfying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not looking to shove my face whole like Eric did, so we'll get a little less here. My gosh, there's so much powdered sugar on there. Ooh. Ooh. Holy cow. It is just so rich and creamy and like buttery and just it's perfectly sweet and I'm so glad that we ordered our own because yeah. I do not want to share this with anybody. At first I was a little intimidated. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to finish this, but oh, I'm, well, gonna I'm gonna all finish it. it. Oh my gosh, y'all. I need to find the recipe for this stat and just make it all the time. Like, this is so perfectly crispy. It's almost like croissant dough or something yeah. like that's flaky and crunchy like that. saying worst thing you've ever tasted unbelievable actually it's quite intimidating when it first comes out because it's massive but it's super light for yeah. me i would give it two of these out of ten <laughs> not three <laughs> well, i mean that's just, I'm, I'm wiggling my toes as well in the same only two style. out of ten that i meant to say two good. out of two guys i give it two of these out of two the cream cakes were four euros each which was well worth it we also got a little cheese board just to have a little snack because this place is a little bit pricey. This was 12 euros, you guys said? 12 euros. Yeah, and I'm sure it's damn good, but pretty petite, so. Well, one yeah. thing to note is with your entrance ticket, you get a euro 50 off of oh, a yeah. meal. Mm -hmm. We just got done eating. It turns out it might've been a mistake for us to all get our own uh, cake because- <laughs> A delicious, delicious mistake. Yeah, so you could probably split it, okay? I think we were being a little generous because I'm feeling a little sick now, but totally worth it. But anyways, before we head out, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about this castle. This is actually Slovenia's oldest castle I just found out, and it's from the 11th century. So that means this baby is a thousand years old. That is absolutely insane. But it's incredible because you can see it from the entire surrounding area. You can see from the view how high up we are, but it is very cool. It makes for an absolutely stunning backdrop with the mountains behind it. I think it might be the um, definition of majestic. Yeah, this is a majestic castle, y'all. We are headed to another lake that's actually just 30 minutes away from Lake Bled. It's a little bit lesser known, so we wanted to check it out before we head out of the area. But uh, Lake Bled can actually get very, very crowded. These guys were saying that last time they were here it was really crowded, and it's December right now, so this is the time to come because it's not even that cold. There were hardly any other people there, and we didn't really get here early. Yeah, definitely come early because the sun goes behind the mountains. Yeah, that's the main reason you want to get here early, just because yeah, the sun's so low in the sky. Yeah. Also, you can take a rowboat out to the center island. We just didn't have time to do it this go around, but that's definitely fun. check that out when you come here. And next time we will be doing that. Yes. We have arrived to Lake Bohin, I think. That's how we yes. were told how to pronounce it. It's kind of difficult. It's B-O-H-I-N-J, but yeah. I think it's Bohin. You don't pronounce the J. <laughs> yeah, but this lake is incredible. It's completely different than Lake Bled. It's all about the reflection of the mountain and the forest on the water back there. Yeah. We found this insane spot with this dock. We've gotten a few photos. Man, it's, it's cold lovely. out here, but I'm it's kind of <laughs> forgot about the cold because I was so busy taking all these photos and taking it all in. It's perfect. We have had both lakes pretty much to ourselves, you guys. December is the way to do it. Yeah, it is. And this one, uh, even in the high season, I'm guessing that this lake has a lot less people. It's so peaceful out here, except for some guy who keeps flying his drone around. God, if I could find whoever it is doing that, mm. I'll tell you. Ooh. Asshole. <sighs> so this concludes today's adventure. It's getting cold, it's getting dark. It's getting very cold. <laughs>
<laughs> we need to eat a real meal, I think. So we're going to head back to Ljubljana. Then tomorrow we're going to spend a little bit more time exploring the city. Mm -hmm. We haven't really gotten to explore the city that much other than when we went and saw the Christmas no, lights. No, so. and tomorrow is our last full day. We actually fly out tomorrow night, but not till very late. So we have one more fun vlog coming at you from the city. Yeah, and then we're going to be heading to Ireland. Yes! So Man. make sure you keep your eyes out for that series. It's going to be fun. I can't believe it. Yeah, we've got some amazing things to do there. And make sure uh, you guys head over to uh, the Travel Bean so you can check out all the content they've been making with us. Yeah. Um, we'll have their link in the description below. Check them out. Give them a subscribe. Tell them you came from the Endless Adventure. Yes. Make sure right, you tell guys? them Right, guys? All right. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.